Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight from Atonement, the X-Men movies, Split and Glass. He now stars in It, Chapter 2. Please welcome back to The Late Show, James McAvoy. <laughs> Pointing at you. I don't you. know why. I feel slightly threatened, but thank you. I'll point to you. Yes, you have nothing to fear from these people. They're all fans. They don't Great. stand up for everybody, I'll tell you that. They don't? They don't stand up for everybody. Thank you, the 15 people that stood up. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just found out something about your passionate fans, because you have some very passionate fans. I do, I do. You have out in the world, you got uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of actors out there who got, uh, like, specific named fans. Uh -huh. There's obviously, everybody knows about the Benedict Cumberbitches. <laughs> yeah. There's the Timothy Chalamaniacs. <laughs> There's the Tom Hiddlestoners, I think. That's a good one. But yours are the McAvoyers. Ah, that's good. I'm quite... Do you I'm, like that? I do like it. I, do, I mean, I feel like maniacs, the shallow maniacs, that's slightly threatening. The Hiddlestoners, that's, you know, they might get stoned and paranoid. And then what's the other one? Cumber bitches. Cumber bitches. Nobody wants a bitch on your back. Um, <laughs> but my guys are just voyeurs. They stay away. They just watch. Yes. And that's kinky, but safe. I'd get a thicker shower curtain if I were you. <laughs> Maybe I'd like to be watched. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't? <laughs> Welcome to the Late Show. <laughs> After dark. <laughs> um, now, there's crazy news uh, out of uh, the UK mm -hmm. right now. You're, you're from Scotland, but there's yep. crazy news out of the UK. So I got, I got to ask you about, of course, the big headline. Loch Ness Monster might be a giant eel, <laughs> say scientists. I know. And I know this may sound stereotypical, but you're from Scotland. I am. Loch Ness Monster, as a child, did they take you on field trips for like a fun day to go look for Nessie? To feed Nessie? Um, I've never been to Loch Ness, I have to say, I'm sad to say. Oh, it's really it. lovely. I've ne yeah, I've never been, I've been to other lochs, but uh, never been to Loch Ness. But I, th I found it quite interesting in this news piece that was on the BBC. Might be a giant they eel. Said, they said, uh, so they've said that they didn't find any evidence of Nessie, but they have found evidence of eels. And the guy who was talking just went, they might as well have said, we've found evidence of fish in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I was like, you're kind of right. Yeah. yeah. OK, so motorcycles, also a passion of yours. <laughs> you this, is danger. this is a danger. This is a danger. No, sort of? What do you mean, sort of? You don't? I thought it um, was. I don't know, it says look. right here, motorcycles are a passion of yours. That's been fact-checked. I can't, in, I legally can't ask that question unless it's been fact-checked. It's black and blue, so it must be true. Must be true. Um, Are you not a motorcycle fan? I am, I am. I just, I'm not a fan of riding in London anymore. It's, you get to the end of your 30-minute ride and you have to come down off an adrenaline high. So I was either going to just leave riding altogether and just leave it for track days, or my, kind of, my last resort was to kind of go for a more sedate ride. So I've recently traded in my hog for a uh, small canary yellow Vespa. <laughs> that gets a round vibe. of applause. Not the same, not quite the same vibe. <laughs> no. Who uh, says I'm not metrosexual? Yeah. No one has, no said one has ever no said, one has said, that, said no. you're not metrosexual. <laughs> <laughs> well, the new movie is uh, it's It Chapter 2. Who do you play in this? I, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank we you, Kenny Wise's dad. <laughs> Um, it, who do I play? I play the older version of Bill, who is the young... Uh, he's sort of, he was the leader of the, the Losers as a kid, and uh, goes on to become a screenwriter, goes on to become a, a novelist, and shares a lot of, sort of views on the world as, as Stephen King. He's that kind of classic Stephen King character that he puts into all of his work, where it's sort of the Stephen King avatar, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, and he's riddled with guilt at losing his, his young brother in the first one. Uh, we have a clip here. Do you need to tell us what's going on? Um, or do you know what's going on? I know what's going on. Is it this, the Hall of Mirrors yeah, scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bill has... Um, he's tried to warn a young boy away from Pennywise and say, you need to get out of this town. This town is, is desperately uh, evil. And you're in danger. You have to get out of here. Just tell your parents a lie. Tell them anything. Just get out of this town. He then finds that this little boy has gone off to the funfair instead, and Pennywise sends him a little message saying, thank you for terrifying him for me. Thank you. Scared him up real good. Because basically, Pennywise, if he scares you, it makes you taste better. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why he's always trying to scare you, to kind of season the meat. It's marinating. He is, yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's salt this audience. <laughs> <laughs>
Kid? Kid! Oh! Oh! Hey! What are you doing here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. Pennywise, Pennywise really enjoys the taste of glass. Wow. That went down like a cup of cold sick. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, you have an American accent in this. I, uh, apparently, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's, I, have I talked with you before? You've got such a charming Scottish accent. Thank Is it you. hard for you? What, what, what's your, do you have a hook for your for American accent? What yeah. do you have to say first? Uh, do you know, I don't think about it. I try not to think about it at you all. Just do it. Which is probably why for the first three weeks, everybody's going, could you go again? Can we go one more time? Can we go another time? Is there something that's particularly hard for you to say with an American accent, where it, 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 you, the, the Scottish just burglary. slips out? Uh, it, the word burglary is hard for me to say in any accent, even my own. Burglary. 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 Say it's, it as an American, if you don't mind. Oh, burglary. Bur Burglary. Burglary. No. That's in my own accent. No. I can't even see it. I can't see it. <laughs> if you, if you were a spy, we would have shot you by now. <laughs> <laughs> we think this, I'd love to see a Scottish spy. A Scottish spy undercover in America. Like, why? <laughs> Did you ever see Sean Connery in The Wind and the Lion? No. He plays like an Arab chieftain oh, in it. He wow. plays Bule Ikhmahel Muhammad Ali Khrazuli. <laughs> and he goes, he does this <laughs> at one point. <laughs> Sean Connery goes, I am Bule Ikhmahel Muhammad Ali Khrazuli. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> So, hey, okay, so you lightning round. We only got a minute here. Like, if you don't mind, a little lightning round. Go. Famous person to famous person. You've worked with a lot of famous people. Lightning round, tell me something I don't know about these people. Jessica Chastain. Uh, oh, uh, she broke her leg uh, riding high performance motorcycles. Wow. Yeah. She when needs she a was Vespa. During the Oscar. <laughs> yes, she does. Yes. Uh, during the Oscar campaign for Tree of Life. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, him and I used to play football together. Really? Yeah. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart, Patrick Stewart, Patrick Stewart. Oh, uh, 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 I don't think I've got anything on him. Any dirt? <laughs> no, sorry. Maybe I just... <laughs> no. Uh, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, uh, sometimes we call her CT. <laughs> which is the reverse of Top I Cat. I didn't know that. Yeah. Boring, but I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton, uh, she lives in Scotland. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. She was born with teeth. She was born with teeth in her mouth? Said her mother, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Wow. Yeah, maybe she's got the shots to prove it. That's shocking. Now, uh, we'll probably run out of time, but I have to ask you about Macbeth. You played Macbeth, mm -hmm. and, and your, your co-stars, Patrick Stewart, uh, played Macbeth. I've seen his Macbeth, and I've seen Ian McKellen's Macbeth. Yep. And you, who, which one of you? Have you compared Macbeths between you, and Patrick, and Ian? I, when I was uh, on the set of, uh, what was it, Days of Future Past, I was getting head extensions put in, and it was an 18-hour head extension sit-in. And, uh, and I was walking past this trailer, and I heard, oh, James, you must just say hello. And I came back, and the door opened, and it was Serene sitting on the steps. And in the back of his trailer, Sir Patrick, the two sirs, uh, Sir Squared, were, um, were, he was, like, fricasseeing some chicken or something like that. It was like, oh, hello, James, how do you do? Make it so. And, um, and so I sat, I sat on the steps whilst Serene stroked my freshly extended hair. And... Uh, <laughs> And, we, resist, talked, and we talked to Macbeth, and he said to me, he said, do you know, James, I thought you were a rather wonderful, Macbeth. And I said, and I said you know, I, I, it was one of the finest tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrows that I've ever heard. And, uh, and he went, I would have liked to have seen you in a slightly different production, however. And I was like, oh, you cheeky bee. <laughs> you cheeky bee. You cheeky bee. I want to call him a cheeky bee. <laughs> James, thank you so Thanks much for being here. here. Uh, James, chapter two is in theaters right now. James McAvoy, everybody.